Hey everybody. So I started this project and I kind of decided it'd be a waste not to film it. So what I'm working on today is a Dell Latitude E7470. The keyboard is, uh, the, the, the space bar on it is going all mushy on me. So this one I've already got the back off. And one really nice thing about the 7470s and I believe the uh, 7390s and 7480s and all the, the later generations, um, basically from the 6th or 7th gen um, chips and onward, it looks like the latitudes all have captive screws in the back plate, which is crazy cool. So once you actually pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws out here, then you can, you know, shake it like that. Not really worry about the fact that uh, screws are going to be missing because they are all captive. So once you get inside here, then you are looking at, let's see, uh, one screw for the battery which will pop out. These are compatible, compatible with longer batteries as well. To pull this keyboard, basically we're gonna to need to disassemble the entire laptop. To get to the battery, the drive, and the RAM, all you have to do is pop that back piece off, which is super nice. It's just a giant pain in the butt that you gotta go in through uh, under the motherboard and everything for the keyboard on these. Uh, luckily, this is only the second keyboard I've ever had to change on them, uh, so I'm not really that worried about it, but it's still a bit of an annoyance for sure. So you've got the uh, small ribbon cable on the right here, which I believe is a speaker, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is a speaker there. That's a speaker cable there. Actually, I'm going to still need to remove that speaker cable. Um, and then this is the trackpad cable here. Just remove that from the motherboard. You don't technically have to pull your RAM out, but I recommend it. Set it off somewhere safe. And then you're going to pull motherboard screws out of here and here. And then keyboard screws out of here, 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 here. I think that's all I've pulled. So, so there is a difference in length of these screws. Um, if you look here at the motherboard, the uh, where the M2X5 is, that's actually a long screw. And punch it on that a little bit. And the rest of these keyboard screws, as well as those sodium slot screws, are little babies. So just be aware of that so you're not doing any uh, long screw damage. Hello. Uh, the battery is also one of the long screws. So, I'm going to pop the drive out. Ah. Okay. Should be a long one. It's more or less, there's only two types of screws here, long and short. So just more or less keep track of where the long ones go. Here, 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 and in your battery, which is going to be like there-ish. Um, and then the rest are just short. So there's there's many fewer screws to worry about if you only worry about those that are long. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so we're going to also need to pull out this, 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 and this, as well as this corner one back here, which I'll do first. This should be a long screw. Uh, so I just checked the frame, and it doesn't look like you could actually see what I was doing before. So... This is gone, 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 and that is gone. Um, those are all long. So basically every screw that goes um, through the motherboard all the way is going to be a long screw. And then these are short screws here. Since they go kind of into the base of the keyboard, not actually into the motherboard itself, that's actually just a, I believe, just a shield. I can pull that off. Yeah, that's just a shield for this back area of the PCB here. All right, so we should pull this guy here. Uh, the long screw. So there's a screw here and a screw here that I'm gonna pull out. Uh, they're both thicker than the rest, uh, thicker than the internal screws and longer. So keep those aside, don't, uh, don't mix those in. So this uh, plastic shield also comes off. So after you've got that shield off, we've got another M2 here and another M2 here. And that should be the last of them. These are also the uh, internal long screws. Come on, buddy. 
Yeah, I actually may have to disconnect all the cables just because they're very, very tight. So that's fine, is what it is. So disconnect the monitor. Get everything out from underneath here. Disconnect this little fella here. Let's see, how's this come out? Is that an actual plug plug? Or is that a... I really don't want to disconnect this. Gosh darn it. Let's see if I can get away with just loosening these. Let's see. Can I do it? Yep, I can. Oh, well. Here's something important. <laughs> the CMOS battery. Unplug that. Kind of missed that before. My bad. Okay, so now we can come forward, up, and rotate it out of the way. The back of that lovely motherboard. Now you can un uh, unplug all those if you want. I just find especially the wireless card to be a giant pain in the butt. It's like they think the keyboard's going to run away if they don't connect it super, 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 super well. Like, this is insane. Like, with the old 6420s and stuff, they the keyboard was connected with a uh, like plastic clips all around the edge. That was it. Just pop the clips and the keyboard came out. Ease, ease, lemon squeeze. I guess... Thousand tiny screws allow it to be thinner than uh, eight tiny clips. Oh, maybe just more permanent because those clips could potentially break, and then you wouldn't be able to get a keyboard back into the laptop. Now, if you've never done this before with a laptop, if you've never taken a laptop down this far, it can be helpful the first few times to just take a picture of each stage so you know where screws go. Um, especially since you can take a picture with your phone and most phones will allow you to make little notations on the picture. I think it's actually not screwed down anymore. I think it's just glued down. There we go. So we're going to pop this up. Don't forget to disconnect the ribbon cable from the bottom there. If you damage that. Well, I guess if you're replacing the keyboard, you don't really give a crap if you damage that. But you don't really want to um, damage where it plugs in. Now, these screws are super unique little pancakes. There's a total of three of them. For whatever reason. And other than these three, there's three more in the middle of the keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eight, two, nineteen. There's like twenty. Twenty screws holding this whole thing in, three holding it down at the bottom, and then three in the middle. And I realized that even though this is a 7470 keyboard, it must be for a different submodel. So neat. The keyboard we ordered is not going to fit in this laptop, but I think I can clean out the springs on the space bar and actually get it working again. So I'm going to try to do that. All right, I gave this button a uh, nice solid cleaning with a Q-tip underneath, as well as a good few blasts of air, and it's got an annoying squeak to it. Really can't notice it too much when you're typing. Jeez, that is pretty annoying, actually. But anyway, the point is, uh, it's clean, it's working properly, so I'm going to reinstall. And I'm going to fast forward through the reassembly here, because you've already seen the disassembly, so that's basically the same thing exactly in reverse. And I'll pause for any notes that I have.
So as you can see, tearing down the Dell Latitude E7470 is not a super challenging thing. Um, there's only a few different layers in there, and there's only four different types of screws that I encountered uh, going all the way down in this. One reason I love this laptop is extremely repairable, and just it's just a kind of a nice laptop for a really good price. So I definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, you can get them on eBay, like I said. Three, four hundred bucks pretty easily um, and decently specced out as well. So thank you very much for stopping by, taking a look at what I'm doing here. I hope this information helped you out and uh, hit the buttons if you want to see more stuff kind of like this. I do just anything that is electronic related um, lately. So I'll do a review of these guys. I got that coming up too. Um, that's going to be interesting. I've kind of, I, I like them more than I did when I did the review. So be sure to comment below if you have any questions or if you want to ask me why I have a head behind me. Maybe you didn't notice it. Now you can't unsee it. Styrofoam head. Who doesn't own a styrofoam head? Come on. Anyway, guys, thank you very much once again for stopping by. Stay safe. Have a good one.